Welcome to an updated tutorial to install mod packs on the SK launcher so that you can play Minecraft with mods that adds new content, like the structure behind me, entirely for free. Now without further ado, let's get into the video. If you don't have SK launcher, head to the website linked in the description and click download installer. After you're done, find the installer in your downloads and run the setup. Click next, next, and eventually install. And I'll cancel it because I've installed it already, but you can go ahead and continue. Then you can either open SK Launcher through the shortcut or use the search to find the launcher and open it. If it opens without error, you can head to the next step. But if it says that you don't have Java installed, you can go back to the website and click on this link. Here, you can install Java 21 for Windows or click other downloads for Mac or Linux downloads of Java. If you're on Windows, download the Windows version. Run the installer and then click Next until you can click on the Install button and wait for Java to be installed. After the setup is done, you can open up SK Launcher. And when you open it for the first time, you'll probably see this screen. Don't log in with Microsoft. Instead, click Switch to Offline Mode. And then enter a username and click Login Offline. After that, you'll see that this site is where mod packs or other versions of Minecraft will appear. To install them, click Installation Manager, go to Mod Packs. And you'll see the list of mod packs from Curse Forge and Modrim. So I actually recommend you to use the search to find mod packs that you already know that you want to download. But if you don't, a good way to look for mod packs is to go to either Curse Forge or Modrim. For example, on Curse Forge, you can sort by different categories like adventure or RPG. Uh, quests and many other different categories of the mod pack that you like. Another thing you can do is also pick the mod loaders and also the game version to find the one that you want to play. So once you've chosen a mod pack, for example, like pick this Create Chronicles. Once you've chosen it, head back to SK Launcher and then search up the name of it in the Installations Manager, Mod Packs and then look up the name of the mod pack that you want. Once you found it, click on the arrow and then top right, install latest. Once it's installed, you'll see a message here and the mod pack will show up at the left side. You can right click on it and open the installation directory. This will open up the mod packs folder and this is where all the configs and the mods are stored in. But more importantly, you should click on the edit installation for the mod pack and then click on more options at the bottom and then you should change the maximum memory allocated to Minecraft. Because the default is set to 4 gigs, but most mod packs will benefit from more memory allocated, but not too much. So a good rule of thumb is to set it to 6 to 8 gigs, but it depends on the amount that your computer has. So you can open up Task Manager and then go to the Performance tab. And in the Memory section, you can see how much RAM your computer has. And my computer has 32 gigs. You should always check the modpack description as well to know how much RAM is recommended for the modpack itself. In this case, it's 6 to 8 gigs of RAM. So I'm gonna set mine to 8 because I uh, have the capacity for it. Then press save. Then after you're done, you can press play and let the game load up. And after it's loaded, you are done. So thanks for listening to the end. I know many of you have requested for this updated guide. And I know it's long overdue, but I have finally finished it. And I have another video in the works, so stay tuned for that, and goodbye.